like, honey, honey, I don't think anyone can out shop me. Like, I love shopping. Um, fashion, you know, that was up there. And makeup, like, makeup. I was a MAC lover. Like, it was all MAC makeup, right? So, like, these are, like, the things I was into. And always going out. I'm not going to lie. I was every single day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It was at a restaurant. Like, I kid you not. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. And then, um, and then, like, let me tell you something. Like, I was living out in the suburbs. So I was about 45 minutes to an hour away from Chicago. Sometimes it could take an hour and a half, depending on rush hour traffic. And I used to, like drive to Chicago to get some um some Harold's chicken or some Shark's chicken. Still not a fan of Uncle Remus, but anyways, I'm a vegan now, so I don't <laughs> I don't indulge in, you know, the animals uh anymore. I don't I don't eat that stuff. But it's just so crazy like thinking back on the things that I used to do, the things that, you know, I was just so I would say attached to prior to, you know, the life I live now. And I felt like all of that was me. It was it was all me. I did like um writing, but I wasn't I wasn't really like doing it frequently. It was like, you know, if I get extremely bored, which was rare, that's when I found myself writing. Sorry, water is just whew, this water is just too good. So, you know, um and down thinking uh thinking back like I was doing a lot. I was like, it was the freedom, like having that freedom, being 18, you know, 19, 20, having your own car and just not having any limits and just, you know, just being able to do stuff. And now, you know, fast forward a few years, maybe a lot of years. (laughs) And now I have five kids and my youngest child is five months old and my oldest is seven years old. So it's like now I don't have that that freedom anymore. So I don't have that freedom to just get up and go whenever I want to because now I have five little humans to care for and I have to make sure, you know, they are in a good space. And I also have a husband that I have to, you know, I would say plan things with. So I would have to like plan things out accordingly because it's not just me. I don't have the uh, get up and go freedom anymore. I I feel like I have um, I have more responsibilities, you know. Now, where it came to um, where I would say I actually got lost in motherhood is. I'm sorry, my son needed me. But what I was saying, um, I found myself getting lost in motherhood uh, with the separation part because I have such a hard time, even now, this is current. This is what I'm currently going through. I have such a hard time separating myself from my family. Like I cannot separate myself from my children or my husband because, you know, we've been a unit for so long and I just got lost in it. Um, I guess I had the mis, uh, I had a misconception when it uh, came to being a mother and a wife. I just thought that when you become a mom and when you become a wife, like now you, you no longer have a life. Your life is their life. And I, that's how I spent my years, like the last uh, eight years or so. That's what I've been doing. I've been just being a mom and really not knowing who I am outside of that, uh, you know, and being a wife. Um, so growing up, I always heard that, you know, once you have a once you have a kid, your life is over. Once uh, you get married, you're basically tied down. So that was, you know, that was that misconception for me. So I went into my marriage um, knowing that, you know, this would be it. It would just be me and he, uh, me and my husband. It would just be the two of us. And then when I became a mom, I was like, OK, so this is it. Like my life is 100% dedicated to my child. Then, you know, I started having more kids and I was like, okay, now my life is 100% dedicated to my children. And, um, I don't know what, what I'm doing (laughs) because it's just, it's to me, it's just really, um, 
it's really crazy to think about. So I found myself uh, getting lost and not being able to separate. So every time I meet someone or I start talking to someone, I just find myself talking about my kids or, and talking about my marriage. It's like, I am like, when you talk to me, you know that I'm a mom, you know that I'm a wife, because that is that's my universe. That is the topic of discussion. I talk about my kids all the time. I talk about my husband all the time. And then to throw in like homeschool and I, I also homeschool my kids. So there's no real separation. And um, and now that, you know, I'm looking uh, back on things, and I've been reflecting. I was like, dang, my uh, the last a few years of my life has been dedicated to this and I have no identity. Like I just identify as a mom and a wife, a wife and a mom. And now I am trying to um, separate and figure out who I am outside of uh, those titles. So I know it's, it's hard. It's a lot to um, really think about. And it's like, damn, is that really all there is to me? Like, um, so when I first got with my husband, like I had said earlier, I was into always getting my hair done, getting my nails done, and just keeping up with like the girly girl thing. And that was like maintenance for me. Like I loved just doing these things. I loved being pampered. And once I um, you know, got with my husband and we were married, it's like I kind of um stepped away from those things because I felt like I have my person. Like, I, who am I maintaining for? So it's like I already started, my mind had already started shifting. Like, okay, you have your husband. You don't have to, like, be dolled up all the time. And then once I had um, my first uh, daughter, it was, okay, I want my daughter to love her hair. So I got rid of all of like the wigs, like no more weave. I want it natural. I stopped wearing makeup because I wanted my daughter to love herself. I wanted her to love who she, um, who she is naturally. Like I wanted her to feel beautiful. I wanted her to feel empowered. So makeup was a definite no. Um, fake hair, a definite no. So that left getting my nails done. I had, I don't know why I stopped getting my nails done, but um, like I have long nails naturally. So when I didn't get a full set, I started doing overlays and I know that, uh, the acrylic nails and that stuff can like mess your nails up, but I kind of just stepped away from that. And I haven't had fake nails or an overlay on my nails in so many years. Like I don't even know. I, I believe Paisley was the baby. And if Paisley was the baby, that was, um, that was almost five years ago. So I left uh, that alone. I just wanted to show my children like a different side. Like I didn't want to, I basically wanted to practice what I was preaching. So if I was going to be teaching my kids to love themselves, I needed to, you know, love myself as well. If I was going to teach them to love their hair and love their uh, their skin and just be comfortable with being themselves, then I needed to do that. And I felt like wearing a uh, weave in my hair and wearing makeup, that wasn't my true authentic self. So I felt like I had to show my kids that, hey, I'm natural. I know that I'm beautiful. I feel beautiful. And I wanted to just, you know, I wanted them to be confident and I wanted them to be themselves. So I got rid of all of that stuff. Again, lost in motherhood and being comfortable in marriage. It was just so easy. And now that I am like trying to figure out who I am outside of my marriage and motherhood, it's like, I want to get back into those things. And I slowly brought um, wigs back into the picture. <laughs> so now, like my kids, they absolutely love their natural hair. We've all um, cut our hair together. Like I personally would much rather just shave my head and throw a wig on and be like, all right, cool, snatch the wig off whenever I don't want to wear it and just be bald. And, <laughs> and that's what I've been doing. Um, but my kids... They do love their hair. They do like being um, natural. They are comfortable in their own skin. So now I am, I guess, slowly trying to just 
get back to what I used to love and just, you know, reclaim myself, reclaim that independence and just know that it's okay to um, be into all of those things while being a mom and you can still teach your kids such, you know, good things. You can still be a great role model for your children. You don't have to strip down and be completely bare to get your kids to love themselves. It's all about what you teach them. And of course, they're going to, uh, you know, follow what you show them as well. But, you know, teaching them self-love and appreciation is a great thing.